The 70s are considered a golden era. It was a decade of revolution. There was a lot of changes that happened during that decade that served as a benchmark for the way society flows today. Hi guys and welcome to Historically. For today's video, we've listed 27 things only people who lived in the 70s will remember. Can you imagine living in a world where Darth Vader didn't exist? So bleak and empty, right? Not knowing that the Sith Lord is ruling the galaxy out there. Well, that's because Star Wars didn't come out until late in that decade. Waiting your turn to use the home phone was rough. Back then, people had one rotary phone that stayed nearby the kitchen and living room. I could safely say that the phone was reason for many sibling fights. Atari Video Console If you own one, well, let me tell you that you were the coolest kid in the area. However, if someone else owned one, you did everything in your power to be their bestest of friend, in the hopes that they invite you to their home and you play. Saturday Cartoons There was no Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney, or anything similar to that. If you wanted to watch a cartoon and be mesmerized by the fictional world, you had to wait the infamous Saturday. No school, no responsibilities, hours and hours in front of the TV watching your favorite cartoons. However, they missed them on Saturday and you had to wait a whole week before you could watch them again. Who remembers Schoolhouse Rock? He defeated the purpose of a lazy, cartoon-packed Saturday. Schoolhouse Rock tricked us into learning more about history multiplying, reading, and all that. To this day, I still sing the Conjunction Junction song and it's stuck in my head. People back then were living in paranoia. There was a lot of myths, rumors. The biggest one was that pop rocks and soda at the same time will most definitely cause you to blow it up to death. Kids of the 70s probably remember the story of Mickey, the picky eater. No HD, no 4K TV, there was the old TVs with a hunchback that you had to hit on the side a few times to get a clear image. If that didn't work, move the antenna that was on top of the TV until you see the smallest zigzag line. Or usually you had your dad up on the roof to adjust the antenna until he got it correct. Smoking cigarettes was a big thing. You could do it on planes, homes, restaurants, public buildings, everywhere. Everyone was smoking, and they didn't have enough knowledge of how much dangerous smoking really was. Laugh Olympics. I wish they would bring them back. It never mattered who you were rooting for, because we always knew who was going to win. But it was our Olympics, ours. The station wagons of that era will always remain retro. They were made out of wood, or at least it seemed they were. Why? It could be anybody's guess. However, it looked very cool. Whenever you wanted to drink pop, the ring that opened the can would actually be taken off, and you would throw it on the ground or use it as a ring for your finger. New York Times reported that there was a lot of beach injuries due to can rings being in the sand. We learned it the hard way not to believe comic book adverts. Remember sea monkeys? Who would not want it to have tiny people in their bedrooms to do as you want with them? Unfortunately, when they arrived, they were a huge disappointment. Riding motorbikes did not necessarily require for you to wear a helmet. It wasn't bound by law. Wearing a helmet meant that you had a head wound or you were terrified of the smallest injury. We did suffer consequences and thankfully learned from them. Watergate hearings, even if you did not care about politics, you knew that something was happening in Washington. People believed that Watergate took a hit on democracy. Seeing Nixon leave in the helicopter was an unforgettable memory. Gas station lines. This isn't technically nostalgia as this is happening even now in the 2022 gas crisis, which is similar to the one in 1973. Back then things were rougher. Each trip you took out with your car felt like it might be the last one. 
Can anyone tell me what happened to roller disco parties? We want them back! Yes, yes, it may have been dangerous skating around to Bee Gees at a high speed, but that was the fun of it. It gave parties a match. Why did we hitchhike? In hindsight, hitchhiking is a bad thing to do. Getting in stranger cars? No, none of that. But young folks did not care. With a destination in mind and without driving license or cars, they would stick their thumbs out and hope for the best. No plastic lunch boxes. No, we used metal boxes for lunch. They protected your PBNJ like no other thing would do. And they were good for the environment. You could get them with Star Wars, Evil Knievel, Cracker Jack. Having a collection of them meant that you were a resourceful kid. But remember what I said about myths earlier? We believe, get this, shaking a Polaroid picture will make it develop faster. I mean, what? That was a bogus thing to do, and to this day, it still doesn't stop me from shaking my Polaroid pictures. When you were a kid, you'd go four neighborhoods away to play with your friends. There was a fear of strangers, but it was not voiced or strict by your parents. We really lived carefree. And who was your favorite Charlie's Angel? The crime-fighting trio proved that girls were as tough as boys. Whether you liked Kate, Farrah, or Jaslyn, you most definitely had a poster of Farrah in your room. I know you did. There was a general fear that the whole country will convert to the metric system, and we will be caught by surprise and not know anything about it. What if we weren't so ignorant? We'd have learned it by now and not be the joke of the world. Bowl cuts were the style. It was called a bowl cut because, you see, your mom at your household conditions would put a bowl in your head and start cutting around it, giving you the most distinctive look ever. There was no such thing as a delete button or a backspace. If you made a mistake, you either owned up to it or buy a small jar of white liquid which you would use to paint over your mistakes. It was called a corrector. It would take forever to dry. Hats off to the people that produced Tang. They sold the idea that the toughest of them all, astronauts, were drinking Tang, which barely tasted like an orange. It was enough for us to think that it will make us feel smarter. You ever have that song that you really like and want to listen all day to? You can just take your phone, download it off Spotify, right? Back then, if you didn't have money to buy records, you would tape them with a cassette recorder off the radio. Speaking of music, did anyone ever figure out what was up with Don McLean's American Pie? Who was the jester that was stealing the crown? Was the song about Buddy Holly, Elvis Presley, or who? And that's all we had today at Historically. If you like this video, you should check out our other video where we list things that didn't exist back in the 90s. Have a nice day.